The first thing is already made decided for you. The, we're drawing the rod of AB. So here's A and this is B. I know I'm going to need the distance. That's 2.5 meters. I have to include on my free body diagram always my applied loads. Now this is a 500 newton load and I'm going to indicate that that's in the negative K direction because of my axis system that's been given to me. I don't have any other forces at B that are applied. I don't have any other forces anywhere else that are applied. At A, I know that I have a fixed support. That's going to give me a force in each direction, which I'm going to label as AX, AZ, and AY. It's also going to give me a moment in each direction. So I'm going to have a moment in the Z direction, about the Z axis, a moment in the X direction, and a moment in the Y direction. The fixed support will give you all of those three moments. The only other reaction force that I have is along this cable. The cable goes from B to C. And it is sufficient to write from B to C if you're going to tell me where those are. I also need to label the vector, so I'm going to call this vector C or T or whatever you want to call it, where B is at the point. The X, com X coordinate is 0, the Z coordinate is 0, and the Y coordinate is 2.5, so that's B, and C is going to be at the distance of 1 meter, 0, and 1.2. Make sure you understand which one is 1 and which one is 1.2. That's all the information I need on my free body diagram.